be a review of this custom one quarter scale Wolverine kit. This is still available. He has three left, so I'm gonna put all the information down below. This was uh, by uh, J.P. Grafner. Sorry if I saying your name, your name wrong. He was the art director. This was sculpted by Gabriel Francisco Risco Yanez. Very long name. I'll put a link down to his page. He's done some other cool stuff. Uh, and Ownage did the production pieces, so they did the printing and casting. So I wanted to show you the art box that it came in. Um, pretty cool art box. I'm, I'm starting to dig these art boxes. <laughs> I'm going to pull it forward so you can oops, see the side of it too. It's a nice artwork on the front. Some cool claws on the side. Nothing on the bottom. And I think the other side is just the same too. So I haven't even opened this yet. I haven't looked at it. But it does have the foam insert packing. So I'm going to pause, take it out of that, and then show you uh, the packing. So give me one second. Okay, so once you open the box, you're greeted with um, some artwork on top here and the edition card. This is um, this says Wolverine scale of one quarter, 17 of 30, and then a um, cool piece of artwork here. I'm not sure who drew this. I can't read the signature. I'm not sure if this is... Uh, the guy who did the art direction or not. JP's artwork, I don't know. So it's a cool piece of artwork. Nothing on the back. And then we open this up and you come with the first layer of parts. Now this guy's pretty complicated. So I'm gonna pull these parts out and uh, we'll go from there. So once you pull the first layer of parts out, then you're greeted with this, which is the base and other pieces. And again, I'm going to pull this out of the box and start unwrapping things and show you the quality of this thing because it looks like it's really, really good. So I'll be right back. Okay, that's a lot of parts. <laughs> so we got them all unpacked. He was packed beautifully, no damage um, from what I can see. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty cool piece. Um, I've yet to try putting this together. So... Let's see how this goes, but let's look at some of the casting and the quality first. Uh, there's no sticker on the bottom of the base, which is no big deal because they give you the addition card. Um, I know a lot of guys like labels. I actually um, had made a few labels for like uh, a couple guys. Uh, I did one for Demetrios on the bottom of his, of his Hellboy and stuff. I just basically designed it in Photoshop and printed it and stuck it on there with some spray adhesive and it looked really good. So let's start with the base first. So it's hollow casted, which is fine. And here's hollow no big deal uh, but the sculpt is really cool so we got this kind of snow scene with rocks and bits of skulls in it and skeletons and stuff like that just you know this is ownage quality so you know it's going to be good um, <clears throat> just really beautifully done um, no complaints there let's look at the boots starting we'll start our work our way up we'll try to put them together so incredible incredible texture here in the boots look at that Whew. just beautiful man this is really really killer so i was chatting with jp this morning just trying to get all the info on this for the video and he mentioned this uh when i ordered it that he's actually selling these at cost so he's not making any money on these um and the price was um 650 which seems pricey but for what you're getting the quality um the price is really really good and he's he's a he's a call he's a true collector he just wanted this piece in his collection and so he made you know probably he probably made enough to cover his cost for the sculpt the printing and the and the casting um and i know he's pre selling some pre-paints and then he also had kits so the three of he has left i believe are kits um and you know what gets you on these guys are shipping shipping from uh, uh you know, owners usually typically around 200 bucks for these guys. And this box wasn't very big, it was just heavy. But anyway, look at the awesome texture of this boot. Just love seeing the stitching in there, the snow on the boot, and it's kind of splashed up on the boot there. Just really, really killer. So, again, this is my first time trying to assemble this guy. Let's see how we do. Okay, well, that one doesn't go there. It's probably going to go. Uh, let's see, right here, 
Yep. It's in beautiful. There's already magnets in the sky. Uh, I was playing with the magnets a little bit, and they're not very strong. But I think once it's all together, it's going to be okay. Here's the other boot, the similar thing, just fantastic texture. It looks like they use like I know it's a digital sculpt, but this feels like they use like real like medical bandage for the texture because that's what it feels like. It looks amazing. Let's put this boot in. Again, fits perfectly into the base. <coughs> And let's move to the legs. Legs are relatively simple, but still really nicely done. Nice stitching along the seam line here. Excellent quality from Ownage. Um, this guy should be a pleasure. This guy, this is a pretty complicated paint job. If you've seen the, this guy's pre-painted, um, there's a lot going on. So let's see how these magnets hold up once he's in there. Okay. I may install some better magnets, we'll see. And I may glue the feet on, because right now, when I put the foot on, let's bring it off the tripod real quick, because I'm kind of a, at a high angle. So right now, when I put the foot on, and this is B pit, got a little bit of a gap right there, so I've got to either glue the leg on, or figure something out there. We'll see if it straightens out once I get everything on there. But it feels like the um, torso needs to twist a little bit like that to to fit. So <clears throat> that's the thing. I think that's like one of my only kind of crits about Ownage is that when they, the magnets they used aren't very strong. So um, yeah, that's about. So if I put new magnets in, that means I got to dig the old ones out, which can be very messy because you usually have to just do some pretty severe grinding and stuff to get those ones out but we'll um just keep building this guy up and see what he looks like i'm just kind of adjusting the camera here as we go so there's the legs and the feet onto the torso all right looking really good again there's some nice battle damage on the shoulders here great muscle definition i really like the sculpt again he's not superly overly muscular you know Done really nicely, good balance. Nice gash mark across the X mark symbol there on the belt, belt buckle. Nice. Let's put him in. Yeah, he's gonna need stronger magnets for sure. Um, he may fall over, we'll see. Adjust the camera again. That's what we're looking like so far. Right, let's look at the arms. Again, pretty simple in the arms. Uh, no hair on these arms, which is, I kind of like the, the hairless arms personally. Usually you see these and they got hair on them. <laughs> but nicely done, pretty simple. Let's see. Okay, that one goes there. Yeah, he's pretty loose. He's gonna need some stronger magnets or be glued together. For sure. Yeah, he's wanting to fall over. We'll see. Hopefully, he doesn't fall over when I get him together. Okay. He's looking cool. All right. So now for the forearms, you have two choices. You get a switch out here. Um, let's see. You have two options. You've got bone claws, which are really cool. Nicely sculpted right here, bone claws. And then you do get real metal claws also. And these will look better once they're polished up. Interesting shape on the claw here. It kind of, instead of kind of sharpening at the end, it kind of uh, splays out a little bit. I may sharpen these and polish them up, but they look pretty, they, they look nice. And let's see. So the bone claws go on this hand right here on these hands and it's just his gloved hand and let's see how they fit in there oh nope that's the metal claw sorry the metal claws go in these hands and they fit perfectly slide right in
just like that. Let's see, they may fall out because they're not glued, but yeah, I'm gonna do some. Yeah, see, he's wanting to fall over. Maybe a little blue tack to hold those guys in real quick. I got some right here. So you see me, you may see a little blue tack sticking out. That's okay. It's a good little, it's a good little temporary hold for reviews and stuff. I just put a good wad on it and I'm just pushing in place. It just creates a pressure fit. And then it comes right off when you don't need it. There's one. And then there's another set of hands where the, um, it looks like the, there's like bandages on his arm that are, have torn. And that's where the bone claws go. And we'll see how those fit. Those might fit a little more snug since they're resin. But these will all get glued in eventually. Sometimes when you <clears throat> when you glue stuff together, unfortunately, then you can't use the the factory packaging, which is ideal because typically that's the best packaging. Um, on a rare occasion, you'll get a kit where the packaging is not very good, and uh, a good example of that is actually the Alpha Three Captain America. I think that was Mark's first piece, and uh, the packaging was not very good. The one I got was um, it's just. He changed it right after that kid he changed it he got a lot of feedback about that so um all right so oop, yeah <laughs> he's probably gonna fall here because the magnets in the legs just aren't up to snuff <coughs> excuse me so there he is with the metal claws uh now i'm going to come in i'm going to show you the heads we have four heads We've got two, three masked and one unmasked so we have in the unmasked head we got Logan with his cigar, which is awesome. Nice job on this. This is kind of reminiscent of the Sosa Wolverine head. I'm digging it. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this little swoop right there. Probably could have done without that. But other than that, I really like it. I may take that off, actually. But who knows? We'll see. And then for the mask heads, we got mouth closed. Kind of grimace. Upset look. Great texture in the side of the the cowl here on these fins, smooth on the top of the head. And these heads fit really, really well. And then we got showing his teeth. Great texture again on the side here, smooth. I mean, casting is perfect from these guys. And then mouth open showing the teeth and the fangs, which is awesome, always awesome. All right, so let's, let's put a head on. So like the, when you, the weak magnet is perfect for the, for the head. But man, for these legs, these are gonna have to be really... So once I put the head on there, it's too much. He wants to fall apart, so... Um, let's see, hopefully he won't fall apart there. So I'll have to either glue the feet on, or dig out the magnets and put stronger magnets in. Okay, so there's that. Now we can start putting the base together. Hopefully this happens without anything falling apart and I'll, then I'll show the other arms uh, so we got four cool skulls really simple but I'm actually gonna take this head off because with that little extra weight he's wanting to fall apart and we're gonna spin this around so these skulls go on the base and there he goes yay for me and I broke one of the heads good shit okay so, strong, suggestion to producers, get stronger magnets because that just happened. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. So now I gotta fix that later, but you know what? Nice seat on camera that 
you know, these guys got to use better magnets. So I'm going to leave that apart for now. We'll put the base together and then we'll deal with that at another time. So that kind of sucks, but hey, you know what? I don't mind showing screw ups on video because it just goes to show you that shit happens. And this little part on this hand broke too. So I get to fix that. I can find the piece. So, yeah, so we had some breakage there since the magnets weren't strong. So that part broke too, okay? Alrighty. Let's see if anything else broke. I hope not. I think just that head and that piece. All right, so let's continue with the base. Okay, we've got some I-beams here. I'll have to figure out how these go in here. I don't know. Okay, that one goes there. Fits perfectly. This one goes there perfectly. And I think, let's see, something goes there. I gotta figure that out. Not sure if the skull. I also have a bag of parts over here. Oh, I got bags of skeletons and uh, bones and stuff over here. Then we got all these skeletons that go in the base. around all right we'll figure these out here in a second pretty sure the only key in one yep that goes it goes that guy goes there I can spit it out that guy goes there so you go there I think so Where does he go here? Nope, he goes there. Okay, yeah, this guy goes here because he's got a little indentation for his foot. So that guy goes there. All right, so that's it for those skeletons. All right, let's open up this bag of parts here and take a look. Oh, Magneto's skull. It goes right. No, skull, his helmet. I think it goes there. Nope. It goes up there. Okay, so that goes there. And now we got all sorts of little pieces of bone and stuff here. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, because this could take a minute to figure out. <laughs> I think this hand goes there. Yep. Let's see, what is this? Got some like half skulls here. That goes there. That goes there. There, that's snow. This is a bone. Don't think that goes there. All right, so just be patient with me while we figure this out. Uh, see when that fell it broke some teeth off of this other skull down here so that those magnets man it just created it just, it just created a ton of damage um trying to fit this together for you guys so yeah kind of upset about that 
so um, yeah I've got some repair work to do now quite a bit actually so all these little bones go in these holes I'm actually gonna pause and come back because this could take me a while to figure out so I'll be back holy crap that took me about 30 minutes if not more to figure out where all these things go <laughs> so I wish they would have labeled these somewhere or had given some instructions because some of them kind of fit in specific places and some of them kind of fit in multiple places so I think I've got it all right but man this is a nightmare right here so uh, putting together because there's no indication of where they go um, so yeah that's that's challenging ideally what you would do is once this is all done and painted these would be glued into place and these would never come off I don't know how that would work for shipping purposes I think uh, you could probably do that with the with the uh, with the factory shipping box so I got those on finally like I said, it took me at least 30 minutes to do that. Um, what else? I think I did everything. I showed you everything else um, because I had the break. I, the thing fell apart and had the breakage. Uh, I haven't showed you the um, what I'm going to try to do. And I don't know if I'm going to kick myself doing this. I'm going to try to put them back together again. And this time I'm going to use some um, blue tack to stabilize them. Um, and hopefully he won't come apart. Hopefully. So we'll see. Okay. And then you got these uh, two little jaws. One goes down here. One goes um, <coughs> next to another skull. Excuse me. I'm always hacking in my videos. What I don't want to do is bump these freaking bones because it be a nightmare to try to get them back in there. So overall, the fits uh, really good on everything. Um, and like I, my my main critique right now are the magnets. They are just way, 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 way too weak. Should be at least four times as strong as what they have in here. So, um, as a builder painter, if I was doing this as a commission piece, I would insist on gluing the legs together. Um, maybe just gluing them all together in one piece would be the solution because. These magnets, even though they're big and round, they're probably very, very thin. They're not very thick magnets. So, so even though, you know, sometimes they put magnets in these things, if they're not strong enough, it doesn't matter. You know, you gotta have enough. So I'm gonna try to get enough blue tack in here to hopefully stabilize them and have, have them not fall apart on me. Let's see. In which case, they definitely won't fit together perfectly because the blue tack will create some gaps. So I'm just doing that real quick. I did find that you got to put the back foot in first and then put the skull in. That kind of helps lock that... that um, foot in the place a little bit so let's see yeah and, um, so as I'm fitting together um, not only the magnets not strong enough the keys are a little loose so the keys were a little tighter if the keys were a little bit tighter, that would help the magnets. Um, so a combination of the keys being a little loose and the magnets not being nearly strong enough um, makes them extremely unstable until that is rectified. Okay, do that, do that. So this is a long video again, guys, sorry. But it's just me messing with this to try to show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully I don't break anything again. So I'm trying to think what happened last time when I would cause them to fall over. There's a weight, a weight issue with the magnet strength. Okay, so there's that. And let's see, I got the metal claws. 
in these hands. And then the other hands are really nicely done. They have this kind of like bandage coming off. Looks really good. Nicely sculpted details. Sculpt is awesome. The fit is pretty good. Um, magnets are unacceptable in my opinion. It'd be easier if there weren't magnets at all and then let the builder add their own magnets um, because with the magnets in there you got to dig them out to put new ones in and that's really messy okay so now these claws do fit specifically in a specific spot But they look cool. This one goes here. Nope. And these fit well, but they're not probably not gonna stay without a little blue tack. There you go, get a sense of what that looks like. Pretty cool. So, let's see. Uh, I get some more blue tech out of my drawer down here. I usually have a big ball of it laying around. So, again, if you want to keep hanging out and watching me fiddle with this thing, Try to get this together so you can get, get a sense of what it looks like. Of course, I don't want to put these in, they're not, there we go. What I don't want to do is drop these arms and have all these little bandages bust off because just with that little bit of breakage I, I incurred that just added five hours of work easily to fix what broke so breakage is a big deal it's one thing when I do it it's another thing if it shows up because the packaging is not ideal so, you know. All right, sorry. All right, so there's one fist. So if, if I gave this kid a score on a one to 10, I would say eight and a half maybe an eight and the only reason is because of the magnets the magnets were strong enough to hold it up You'd probably give it like a ten nine and a half casting is good details are excellent it's a great sculpt but the magnet weakness um, is a big deal Do I think the kit is worth the price? Definitely I do. Would I still get it? Knowing the magnets were weak, I still would. So. So now if someone else gets it and they watch this, they know not to put it together all the way with the factory magnets. Okay, sorry. All right. So I got those together now. Looking sharp. Let's try this again. Hopefully I won't break anything. But I am a builder, so I fix stuff anyway. Okay, so there's that. Let's see what it looks like with these guys in there. So like the magnets for the hands are good and the arms are good. They're strong enough for what they gotta do. The magnets for the heads are strong enough for what they gotta do. The magnets for the feet into the legs, not even close. Uh, the magnet for the hip, 
probably not even close. So I'm going to put on, hopefully this won't fall. I'm going to stabilize. Actually, the head magnet for the heads are really good. So now I don't see a cigar in here. So I need to check my box to see if I have a cigar because I don't see one anywhere. Um, he's got a spot for it. Ah, hold on. Maybe this is it. There it is. It's just rolling around in here. Kind of weird. It may have been in the, may have been in his mouth in the in the box and just fell out. So there we go. Man, he's cool looking though. I really love the base. The base tells a huge story um, with all the bones and everything on it. Let's see how tall he is. All right at 19 and a half inches and your depth basically just the base diameter well, you're looking at about 15 inches in diameter for the base so so now what I gotta do is I gotta glue all these little teeth back on <laughs> I could just leave them off I guess or chip to get they could just be chipped off the skull and I gotta fix this head which is a bummer because it's a clean break, but I've got to go through and rescribe all that detail through there. Um, and that little piece on the on the wrist, I did find that piece on the floor, so I got to glue that back on. So you know, it had some work <laughs> dropping that, having it fall over on me. Uh, let's see. Let's try the other. See what the other heads look like, except for the broken one. Blue tax giving me just enough, just enough stick so he shouldn't fall apart again. This is a long video, guys. Sorry, it's like half an hour, but you get a sense of what this looks like. Really cool, cool piece. Fantastic sculpt, very dynamic pose. I love all the skulls. I love this detail, how the snow is dripping into the snow right there. How it's dripping off his boot. Magneto's helmet all crushed and scarred up. And then the last head. Right there. See, I probably like my favorite one is probably the mouth. I like that one a lot. And then let's put the metal claws back on. Take a look at that since we're here. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, sharpen the claws. Like grind the edges down, sharpen them up a little bit. All right, but there he is. It's a long video again, sorry guys, about 30 minutes. But um, yeah, so putting the bones in took the longest part. That took me like 30 minutes, and actually one fell out. <laughs> so those are a pain in the ass. Um, if I was paying for this for someone, I, I would actually label them and label it on the base form so they know which one where they went because otherwise they would get really frustrated trying to put this thing together so again this is the core scale wolverine sculpted by uh gabriel francisco uh risco yanez this was art directed by jp granfer I, was, I think that's how you say your name and uh owners printed and printed and casted it again he's selling these at cost so uh if you like it um, just be aware that the magnets aren't strong enough in the feet. So as you saw, he'll fall over very easily unless those are glued or stronger magnets. Um, so that's the main crit. And then the other crit is just having to put the, the bones are in a pain. Our pain he has to put in without uh, any kind of directions. But <clears throat> great piece. I think, it's, I think it's worth the price and 
Um, if you're a Wolverine fan, I'd, I'd snag one. As always, thanks for watching. This is Matt Rosick. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.